We're learning new information tonight after a fiery crash last night in Buncombe County. Lanes on I-26 in Asheville have slowly reopened throughout the day. The crash happened on the interstate near the Asheville Regional Airport. Rashad Williams is live in Buncombe County with more on what we're learning. Rashad. So we are right along I-26 right now at the BMW of Asheville. We are joined by Miss Jonna. She just walked out of work and I stopped her and I asked you the question. Did you see anything or were you a part of the traffic last night? Yeah, I was definitely part of the traffic sitting stopped for about three hours waiting for emergency um, vehicles to be able to back us back out of the highway. Um, so yeah, it was a an long experience. Wait. <laughs> a long way. Well, thank you for your perspective there. We were also told after that crash, the two on board survived. A frantic call to tower communications from a pilot on board a plane just after 815 Thursday night. Uh, oil pressure failure looks like and uh, two ECU failures were coming in. Northwest of uh, Asheville, it looks like we're losing all we're losing all electric power. According to the FAA, the pilot and one other passenger were in a single engine Diamond DA40, the two traveling from Knoxville, Tennessee, when the engine failed. We've got our engine restarted. We just heard a big bang though, so we may lose it again here. We're going to try to put some uh, altitude on it. Well, we're trying our best. Uh, looks like we got about half power and uh, we're getting some smoke in the cockpit here. After a few short minutes, we got a plane that just possibly crashed on I-26 westbound, 38 mile mark rate. This video sent in from a viewer shows the aftermath of the crash. The plane fully engulfed in flames and plumes of smoke could be seen for miles. All of a sudden, heard a humongous bang. Uh, the dealership went completely black, and there was like a flash boom outside that was just lit up the sky bright. BMW of Asheville sits right along I-26, providing a bird's eye view for the staff here. And we could see the flames, but we couldn't see from what because the trees are in the way. The plane clipping power lines as it crashed down I-26 at the 38 mile marker, causing widespread power outages. The plane also collided with a tractor trailer and the driver of that vehicle was not injured. Miraculously, the two people inside uh, got out um, and the, of course there was subsequent closure in both directions on I-26 East and West. According to the FAA, the plane was being used for instruction by a training academy. Again, incredible images there just to reiterate the passenger and the pilot were able to get out of that plane before it caught fire. We do know they were transported to a local hospital with only minor injuries. We're still working to learn their names and we'll bring you the latest um, as information continues to become available. Live in Asheville, Rashad Williams, WYFF News 4. So